Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem and find the value of x that will satisfy this equation. We have negative 9 raised to the power of x equals 9. So what we are going to do is we can have this negative 9 as we have negative 1 times 9. And this is raised to the power of x and this equals 9. So remember, if you have i raised to the power of 2, this equals negative 1. So we will insert i raised to the power of 2 in place of negative 1. We now have i power 2 times 9 or power x equals 9. Now the next thing we are going to do is to introduce log. So we take the log of i power 2 times 9 power x and this equals log of 9. So what will happen is if you make use of logarithm property of log a power b equals b times log of a. So we are now going to have x times log of i squared times 9 equals log of 9. So from here, you make use of another property of log. If you have log of a times b, this equals log of a plus log of b. So we are going to apply this identity right here. We are now going to have x times we have log of i squared plus log of 9 and this equals log of 9. So the next thing is we need to solve for x. So we divide each part of this equation by log of i squared plus log of 9. We do the same thing here. Log of i squared plus log of 9. So what will happen is this will cancel this other one here. And we are now going to be left with x equals log of 9 divided by log of i squared plus log of 9. Now, if you also simplify this further using this identity, remember log of i squared equals to log of i. So we apply that here. That means we are going to have x equals log of 9 divided by 2 times log of i plus log of 9. So we can leave it this way. Now let's make use of the second method. So we can make use of two different methods. So let's just make use of method 2. So this is method 2 that we are going to use. In this method 2, let's recall the problem. We have negative 9 power x equals 9. So this negative 9 here, we can have it as negative 1 times 9 power x and this equals 9. So the next thing we are going to do is we expand this or we write it out as negative 1 power x times 9 power x and this equals 9. So at this point, we make use of Euler's identity. Euler's identity. Then if you have i raised to the power of e raised to the power of i pi, then you have plus 1. This equals 0. So from here we have e raised to the power of i times pi equals negative 1. Taking in this positive one down here. So that means we will now replace this negative 1 power x with this e raised to the power of i times pi. So we now have e raised to the power of i times pi, which is this negative 1. And this is raised to the power of x. Then we have times 9 power x equals 9. So the next thing we are going to do is to multiply this exponent. 
we have e raised to the power of i pi x times 9 power x equals 9. So the next thing we are going to do is we can introduce log or natural log. We have ln of e power i pi x times 9 power x equals ln of 9. So that being done, the next thing is for us to make use of this logarithmic property. If you have ln of a b, that is a times b, this equals ln of a plus ln of b. We apply this identity right here. So we are now going to have ln of e power i pi x. Then we have, let me put it in bracket, plus ln of 9 power x. And this equals ln of 9. So what will happen is if you make use of this other logarithm property. So what will happen is this exponent will come behind. We have i pi x times ln of e equals x times ln of 9. This is plus, not equals. And this equals to ln of 9. So what will happen is ln of e is 1. So we have i pi x plus x ln of 9 equals ln of 9. So what will happen is we can factor out x. So we have x times i pi plus ln of 9 equals ln of 9. So in order to solve for x, we divide this by i pi plus ln of 9. And we do the same thing here. i pi plus ln of 9. So this will definitely cancel the numerator we have there. And we have x equals ln of 9 divided by i pi plus ln of 9. So this becomes our answer. So we have made use of two different methods. The first one is making use of log and the second one is making use of the Euler's formula. So in a, any of the method that you want to use, you're still going to have the same thing. So that is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please kindly subscribe, share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.